Hey guys, Deathletter Magic here, and I was up for like 40 hours and then slept through basically all of April 1st. So no big elaborate uh, photoshopped prank as I intended, just takes too many hours and I've just been working nonstop. So I'm gonna do what all professional YouTubers do and just rip off somebody else's work. Okay, work might be a little generous. Uh, what Mark Rosewater does on his blog every year for April 1st is uh, apparently does a bunch of PCP and then answers questions. If you've ever seen me reply to people's comments in the comment section, it's pretty much the same as that. I take very few of them seriously. So on Mark Rosewater's blog, uh, it's basically a Q&A. Uh, that's what the whole format is. So let, let's just read some of these. Uh, somebody asked him how many Huatli Planeswalker cards are in Ikoria, and he answered all the mythic rares in Ikoria are Huatlis. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, by the way, uh, interestingly suspicious leak that indicates that uh, Jiang Yanggu, or who cares what the human's name is, Mowu's owner, may be uh, the second out of three Planeswalkers in Ikoria. And the third one we haven't seen before. It's a brand new one. So uh, two are reprints. One is, uh, what's her face? Uh... I don't know, that forest lady nobody likes. I just realized I'll have to be more specific. It's uh, uh, Vivian Reed, but not the Broadway uh, singer and, and dancer, the, the planeswalker. I guess they didn't Google that one before naming her. Oops. Anyway, next up we've got, uh, can you tell us which planes Ikoria isn't? It's like they know when they're setting them up. The answer he wrote was Spirit of St. Louis and Air Force One. Uh, somebody else asked him, Mark, I must know, with the number of mechanics in Ikoria, banding, horsemanship, and other fan favorites are returning, right? And he replied, you can't have Monster World without horsemanship. Oh my gosh, my fortune cookie said the same thing a couple of hours ago. What a coincidence. Uh, somebody else asked him, is it true that sub games are getting moved to Purple's slice of the color pie? And he says, absolutely, Purple needed the design space. Uh, someone else wanted to know if some bananas are in Ikoria. It would be nice to see bananas for once on a card. Um, kind of got overlooked for the food tokens. Uh, and he said, some animated bananas. I lost that fight. That's right, guys. Mark Rosewater bravely and shockingly coming out anti-banana. For the record, I hate bananas too. Now, somebody else asked this Ikoria-specific question. I know it's still a little early, but how does Mega Dredge work? <laughs> Oh god, I'm surprised he actually responded to that. If you guys know the history of Megamorph and how that went down at the company, especially the name, and the mechanic's just fine, it's just the name. Anyway, he says, it's like Dredge, but a tiny amount better. Oh, that's what we need. It'll play well, but due to unmet, uh, unex wait, unmet expectations, I can read, the players will dislike it. Oh, ha ha ha, funny shot at the players. No, it would be overpowered garbage just like regular Dredge, which is, what, currently a 9 on the Storm scale? And if I'm not mistaken, the mechanic was invented by Mark Rosewater? Yeah, funny that he can joke about it. I don't find it very funny. Uh, somebody else asks, will we finally see purple in Ikoria? And he says, of course, we're adding five new colors. <laughs> that actually would be hilarious if they did that for an unset. Just change all five of the colors. Uh, someone else wanted to know how many legendary tribal snow artifact goblin vehicles made it into Ikoria. My goblins from Tarkir need their legendary sleds. And he says, it's the most uncommon. That's a shame. There goes my tribal pseudo mechanic deck. Oh, pun obviously very intended. A uh, couple of these questions I don't understand the reference. I'm just going to skip it because what's the point? Uh, somebody else asks, and th this actually seems reasonable. Mark, I heard there's a Phyrexian Eldrazi Sliver Dragon. Now, if they were to stop there, I'd be like, yeah, we've seen the art. But Wizard Planeswalker Nicol Bolas with Infectious Library Annihilator 1 in Ikoria. How could you? And his only defense, his only reply is, I said it was Monster World. And uh, somebody else asked, so I should really make a video about this at some point. Uh, with the Storm Crow reprint in Secret Lair, will Crow Storm be print reprinted in Ikoria? And he says, yes, there's the full cycle of them in Ikoria. Next up, somebody wanted to know if Affinity for Poison Counters is in Ikoria. That would be absolute ass cancer. And he says, I'm offended that you even had to ask. So another fairly leading question. Uh, one of my favorite things about Magic is looking at cards. Okay. Can we get a Leviathan-sized divining top that casts for seven and rearranges the top 21 and then draws seven? And Margaret said, yep, it's in Ikoria. Uh, someone else is already looking forward past Ikoria and says, if Core 2021 is penguin-themed, what does 
or uh, does that mean we'll get to see Teferi back when he was a penguin? And of course, Mark replies, yes, we'll finally see his penguin days. I hope he dies in whatever informal storyline they have for it. Uh, somebody else said, hey, Maro, it's uh, my birthday for real. Could I get some trivia on my favorite MTG villain, Elspeth? <laughs> I don't think she's a villain. And he says, uh, Elspeth pretends to be a knight, but she's actually a full contact mime. You really don't see those enough, except in Pokemon. My Mr. Mime will slap all the stupid off you. You know, I probably should have read these in actual order because somebody asked, uh, how many cards in Ikoria feature Dredge? And he said, all of them except Merit Lage. She has Mega Dredge. A lot to unpack there. Uh, someone else wanted to say, uh, Mark, I feel like the snow type really should be balanced with other types like fire. Are there any other types you're adding? And he says, Ikoria has gone to town on super types. Oh, I'm so sure. Uh, someone wanted to know if Oko's back. And uh, he says, yes, Oko's back. He's one of the behemoths. And proving that Mark is a man of culture. Somebody asked, uh, is Venser going to get another card anytime soon? I'd like to know what he's up to. And the answer was, his corpse is in Ikoria. The Ikoria story borrows liberally from Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, somebody said, can we get quad fetch lands? He's like, they're in Ikoria. Somebody else said, will Ikoria have Ikor Mir? Of course, he says. When will we get to see a squirrel planeswalker? To which he replies, it's in Ikoria, it's me. Someone else stated, I've heard there will be black, white, and silver border cards in Ikoria. What other colors will there be? And he said, you name it, we included every color you could think of. They forgot to mention gold by name. Someone else said that they liked uh, Exiland's flip cards and something about, like, can we do it again? And he said, oh yeah, cards with basic lands on the back are a key part of Ikoria. <laughs> Hey, a creature that can flip into a functional basic land for, like, self-defense or in response to, like, a board wipe attempt or because you are just drawing no land? I could go for that, honestly. I hate two-sided lands or two-sided cards in general because they're annoying, but that would be neat. So you kind of get the idea, like, he answered somebody else's question, which I don't even state what it was. Every card is a dinosaur, even Merit Lage. A lot of Merit Lage references, a lot of, lot of old-school meme references, references to stuff people have been asking for forever to the point where it became a joke. Somebody just asked generally, how do 15 squirrels take down Emrakul? Because, you know, you could block Emrakul with 15 squirrels and, and kill it, which seems odd. Uh, and he, he finally, finally cleared up this uh, apparent lore break by saying 14 stand behind him. And then one pushes him from the front. Ta-da! Emrakul's tipping over. Em Emrakul, the manipulator of gravity. But yeah, he's mentioned Ikoria as a squirrel plane. Uh, in Return to Rabaya, which is definitely a real thing, Rabaya, Amonkhet, and Kamigawa are actually the same plane. That was a running gig for the rest of the questions. They're in talks to make standard legal cards edible, uh, flavored by color. Okay. Um, every card in Ikoria is a split card with, uh, the top card being new and the other one being a reprint. I guess it wouldn't be top bottom, it'd be left, right, but whatever. And of course, Ikoria is secretly Amon Ket. Um, we're actually returning there. He just doesn't want to reveal it until tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Ikoria will have Ancestral Recall reprinted, but in white? Some people are just messing with him with the questions, as you might have found out. Somebody asked, how many mechanics did you and the team try for Return to Olgratha 2, Squeeze Revenge, before you decided on bands with legendary beebles as the flagship keyword? <laughs> to which he replies, that was the first thing we tried. It only took one playtest to see we'd hit gold. Uh, somebody asked a legitimate question, not realizing what date it was. They said, is a thought sees like effect that impacts each opponent something we could, sh or something that could show up in a commander product to which he answered a major theme of commander legends is thought sees like effects. The thing is, although that was answered on April 1st, I feel like I still don't know if he's for sure kidding. Cause that sounds like something they actually would do. Uh, somebody wanted to know uh, where the savant mechanic, like chrono savant and necro savant, are on the storm scale. And he said, it's a one. The savant mechanic officially becomes evergreen, starting with Ikoria. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the next couple questions look like actual questions with, with actual answers from uh, March 31st. But I will say, the trolling did start early, because if you go back far enough, somebody asks, can I maybe get a single-sided Mobius strip magic card in Ikoria? If, if you're not familiar, just Google it. And he says, yeah, we're still working with the printer on that one. So that was uh, April Fool's Day on Mark Rosewater's normally completely awful blog, where people just kiss his ass, tell them how much they love him, and give him uh, false impressions of the community, what they think of everything. 
Hooray for promoting zero consequences and zero uh, outrage and zero, honestly, accountability, everybody. So thanks for watching, and uh, I guess it's time to go cover their other major April Fool's joke, which was actually on Daily MTG. So uh, hit subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to go self-quarantine at Home Slice's house because his dad seems cool.